Okay, folks, welcome back to Mod's Play of Uncharted Wars New Horizons for the PC. Heaven's Frogman here, and we're back here in Lisbon, and we're in front of our front of our house again. Hasn't been so long, has it? Well, anyway, let's go in. Up this way, yo, out, please. Thank you. Okay, so Danny's been dragged off to the palace. And Mommy play begs and pleads for us to run away, but that's not really any fun, now is it? She recognizes him? Holy Christ, I I guess we should have had should have had her along in the should have had her along when he's first stowed away. Then we probably wouldn't be in this mess. Oh, but look who's back. So I assume you guys can guess on what happens here. Yep, it's another duel. Same rules apply as before. Thrust attack, thrust, sl thrust slash strike, and parry, block, and dodge. Okay, you don't have to win this one either. And the only difference, and there, but there is a small perk for winning this duel, and that is uh, you get a free battle level. So Yoa would go up from level one to level two. That is, assuming he's at level one when he does this, which I am. Now, almost certainly I'm going to get my ass kicked here. And, see, in the, P in the PC version, you just uh, click your attack and your defense. But, in the SNES version, you get these cards, which correspond to each attack. And, they have strengths on them. So, the dueling in this game is a fair bit harder because you don't see the strengths of your attacks. Or defenses. I'm pretty sure it's completely random. And plus, the game just seems more unforgiving in general in this version. So, I'm not going to worry about uh, trying to actually win this one. And believe me, folks, I've tried about a dozen times. And we duel into the stalemate. But guess what, folks? Unlike last time, we gotta do it again. Yep, this duel will continue on, continue until there is a decisive winner. Almost certainly, Antonio. But I'll be damned if I don't put up a good fight in the process. Shit. Prick. I'm actually do not doing too bad here. Ow! There we go, got in a good hit there. Ow! Shoot! Dickhead! Kind of hoping to hold out until another round there, but but yeah, we've uh, we've lost, and this is the music that usually plays when you lose the game for whatever reason. But Rocco once again comes and saves the day. Hits the prick from behind. Bang on, brother Enrico. Assholes will always pay the price. Especially like this guy.
Okay, so to the palace! Away! Obviously, we all know where the palace is by now, don't we, folks? And if you don't, then you clearly gotta start paying attention! And here's our first look at the evil, snide, conniving, sun, snidely whiplash! Okay, fine, it's just Marquis Martinez, but... Come on, this mustache! Look at it! Oh, screw, oh, screw to the fence speech. That's all he says? Father, I've returned. Damn, kid. Yeah, it's what you get. Suck it, Martinez. But we'll see him again later. Like most good evil villains, he one defeat will not deter him. But yeah, we have to go home and make the wife happy. Oh, come on, lady! I've only been gone for, what, seven months? But say no to this question. Besides, wouldn't be much of a game if we quit sea travel already. I don't think it'll actually let ya, but... If you say no, you get something good. But he gives us uh, an extremely good sword, which I'll show you in a second here. And the prince has paid us a visit. Well, no shit! I mean, we'd cut, we'd cut... I mean, we stand out already as it is with people like Rocco and Yawa on board the ship. We don't need the Crown Prince of Portugal hanging around, too. But he'll take us to the port for all time's sake. Now, before we actually go to go there, take a look at our look at his new profile, his profile picture updates, and his name changes, which I think is a nice touch. Good, uh, good bit of attention to detail there by Koei. Yeah, he's no big loss anyway. His stats suck, and so do his skills. And there's Yoa right there. And looking extremely good stat-wise. And if we take a look at our hero info here, you can notice that we've, get, we've gained additional fame in piracy and adventure. So, good on us. And but and like I said before, if we if we actually beat Khan in that in there, Yo I would have gone up to battle level two, but no no big deal. And here's the sword that Daddy gave us. It's a, it's it's the Flambearish, which is a fencing sword. Now since Yo I was actually a fencing specialist due to his rather extensive training with his father in fencing and stuff, we're gonna actually put this on over the bastard sword. Okay, with all that sp spoken for, time to head for port, folks. And the prince and I part, prince and Yoa part ways. I mean, he caused a lot of trouble. Sure, I'll give him credit for having the balls to stow away on a ship. 
as the punishment for stowaways back then it was quite quite severe. You were usually thrown overboard. And God help you if you're thrown overboard while in the open sea. But anyway, folks, I think this will be a good place to end, end off the video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everybody.